Hey guys, this is Camford15. I am back at it with another video for you guys, and I'm back with another episode review of Higi Hero, Runaway Girl. Oh my goodness. What a nice episode. Well, until the end, if it's the after credits scene, something looks a little sus about that dude. Um, but um, this episode, I would say it's a nice episode because now we have Goto talking to Sayu, meeting Sayu for the first time, and essentially giving some hints or tips and stuff like that. But uh, let's get into this week's episode of Runaway Girl. Now, this is uh, Iggy Hero episode five. Um, now, um, the episode starts off as Goto and Yoshida are walking over to his place. Goto tells Yoshida what he's currently doing could be considered a crime. Um, and essentially she just reassures the point, like, look, you cannot have, like, feelings for this girl. You cannot have a relationship with this girl. This girl's, like, too young for you. And then, too, like I said, you get yourself in some some major trouble and stuff like that. And obviously Yoshida's like, yes, I know. And it doesn't matter. I don't even feel, I don't even like her like that and stuff like that. So she meets Sayu. It's kind of a little awkward thing going on. They're just looking at each other. She, Sayu looks a little bothered. Um, Goto obviously picks this up. And then that's when it gets to the point where eventually, um, you know, they make Yoshida go away for the time being to go get some snacks or something like that. And that's when we kind of get the gist of this episode between the discussion of Sayu and Goto. Now, uh, Goto essentially asks about her, like, okay, how old are you? What grade you're in? What city are you from? Essentially, really the main details and stuff like that, because she picks it up. She's like, okay, I can pick up without a shadow of a doubt. You're hiding some things, and uh, you're going to need to tell me and things like that. You're, you're going to tell me. And then, obviously, the most important thing um, Goto asks Sayu is, how long are you planning on staying with Yoshida? because this whole thing could be very problematic and stuff like that. Um, I'll get to the Yoshida Mishima scene soon, um, but essentially you just have Sayu uh, going through, essentially pouring her heart out essentially, which I did like what Sayu did. Again, because we know that Sayu so far is right now this character that doesn't want to really reveal anything about her past or anything. Like she even makes a mention, like me thinking about my past makes me want to throw up. And we saw that last week when she had that little snippet. She thought about the past of it with this pigtail girl and she went to the bathroom and literally threw up. So something definitely bad happened in her past where it made her run away and where she thinks about it. It makes her damn near nearly puke. Um, so something horrible must have really went wrong in the back in, in her past. But she goes on to tell Goto, like, look, she just wanted somebody to just tell her not to run away and be smart and say all these things and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, she goes on to make, again, very a very disturbing comment. In fact, how when she brings up the point to Goto, she says like, yeah, when I went to these other dudes house and slept with them, you know, it sometimes made me feel crazy. And even sometimes it made me feel good because they wanted me. And I'm like, oh God, this girl is so messed up right now. She really needs to get her head fixed. Um, and I'm so happy that Yoshida is different from all those other sleaze balls because it's like, these girls, I'm like, these dudes, by doing all of this nasty stuff with her, you know, they, she may feel like she, oh, they thought, oh, she wanted me, they want me and stuff like that. They actually appreciate me. But I'm like, no, they don't. They just want you for your body. Um, and it was a very disturbing, it, it was very disturbing com comment. Even Goto was like, wow, that's uh, dark and deep there. Um, and stuff like that. Um, and that's when um, you get this very emotional part in their discussion when Sai, where Sayu tells um, Goto, because Goto does ask like about her past, but Sayu's like kind of, I, I don't want to talk about that right now because 
You know, she said she essentially she says like I said earlier makes her throw up. But Sayu does tell Goto like one day she will face her past and she will go back to where she came from and stuff like that. And I like the fact how Sayu essentially said here like look, I know one of these days I'm going to have to face my past. I'm going to have to go back to where I used to live. I'm going to have to face the fears that I have. Um and, you know, I know I'm going to have to do that. And I'm just getting the courage thanks to Yoshida by telling me I shouldn't be like that what I was doing essentially sleeping around with other guys, you know, doing all these acts that don't have any, make me have any respect for myself, my body, or my personality. Um uh, and you know just essentially saying essentially saying like I'm going to have to overcome that and be a better person. Um and clearly she's working on that. And we get a very emotional scene where Goto hugs Sayu obviously emotionally crying as is. Um, definitely. Now the other little talking point in this episode was the go was well, not the Goto. The um, Yoshida running into Mishima. Now um, they have a discussion about the whole thing because we find out Mishima after him and Goto went to the little I guess the restaurant I guess. Um, Mishima kind of is persistent in asking like Yoshida like do you love Goto or something like that do you still have feelings for her and he's like yeah of course it's gonna be very hard for me to give up those feelings and especially too he just found out that well guess what she likes him and yeah they just haven't made it official but she likes him oh too um Sayu does ask the question to Goto if he likes um if she likes a uh, Yoshida or if she loves Yoshida because we know um Sayu's fear is if they hook up she might be kicked out of the place um, and obviously Goto's like, well, yes, I love him. He, I've been observing him ever since I first met him and he's been the only guy I've been interested in since I've met him. Um, so I'm guessing that's a good thing to hear that, okay, it seems like she's got some loyalties and some commitment to him. Again, we're gonna still find out. I still think she's a little sus, but okay. This episode definitely could say, okay, I can trust Goto a little bit more than when I used to. Um, but still, you can still understand if she's still a little sus and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, you have Mishima essentially saying like, well, uh, what are you going to do if you fall in love and start going out with Goto? Where's, you know, Sayu going to go and stuff like that? And she's clearly getting, clearly getting heated. I, then, look, I understand, you know, her points. Her points are very valid points. Like, what are you going to do, Yoshida, if you do end up dating Goto? And she ends up staying in the same house as you, as as you, the same uh, apartment. You just can't have you and Goto and then Sai you. And then if you want to do your little, you know, in bed business, she just can't be there. You obviously you'd have to be like, uh, could you go away for a bit? Let me handle my uh, business with my girlfriend. Um, so again, she makes very arguable points. But at the same time, I feel like another side of me is like, okay, she's just being a straight up like obsessive freak because we know Mishima has feelings for Yoshida does she like she likes him and I was like okay you're being a little bit too obsessive now like I think some of that is coming from a good heart and then another part of it is coming it coming from it is because you're just jealous that Yoshida isn't choosing you and I'm like look girl if you uh can't handle the fact that Yoshida has feelings for Goto uh get over it there's many other fish in the sea you can have for yourself. Um, so she started to get on my nerves with this whole desperation of her wanting Yoshida all to herself. Um, again, we're just gonna find out where that goes on. But um, yeah, um, she walks away and Yoshida's like, goodbye and good night. And she kind of doesn't reply. And I'm like, oh brother. I'm like, this girl is too obsessive over our boy Yoshida, like bruh. If he likes another girl and he's openly saying he likes another girl, just give up on him. Unless he gets a complete confirmation from Goto that Goto's not really into him, then yeah. But other than that, I don't think being very up in his face, wanting to do all these things with him is gonna win his heart over you. Um, so yeah, especially the fact that he likes another girl currently. So you might need to go look for another dude. Um, the episode kind of ends off with Yoshida coming back to the house. Um, what it, we have Goto kind of putting on the makeup on 
um, Sayu, which Sayu is like, so how do I look? And essentially Yoshida is like, you look nice. And essentially it's funny because Goto's like, well, you're not going to get girls that way if you're going to be complimenting girls like that. And I'm like, you know what, you're right. But at the same time, she's a kid. So what do you expect him to say? Of course he's going to say you look nice. He can't, he can't just say to a freaking high schooler, what is it that she's hot? Like God. Um, and essentially, um, Yoshida and Goto uh, walk outside a bit and stuff like that. And essentially Goto kind of gives the trust and the approval of Yoshida that he'll be able to help her and make her have the courage to do this. She also does make a good point of saying like, look, um, if she ends up having abnormal feelings out crazy where maybe she looks peaceful, but then she starts yelling at you for no reason, um, you know, hopefully you can be able to find out what the reason why and stuff like that. Again, hinting at her frequent mood swings because of her, obviously what's happened to her and stuff like that. Now, we get an end credit scene after the um, end of the ending. Um, and essentially you have Azumi essentially, I guess, have this other worker say like, oh yeah, you know, we have this girl, new worker named Sayu and stuff like that. And essentially she kind of tells him, look, just be nice to her, be respectful to her. And if you try to think about doing anything to her, look, please don't because, you know, she's a high schooler and stuff like that. And um, we pan over to see the guy's face. And um, when I looked at the comment section on Verve, some people, one, um, people were like, I think this is the dude that friggin' did the thing we saw in that one little flashback in that one episode with Sayu, and it's like, oh no, don't tell me we're gonna get an episode where he's gonna damn near or try to force himself upon Sayu, because I don't know if I can handle that, man. Um, I don't know if I can handle that, but um, it definitely seems like uh, this is gonna be bad, because even when I was looking through the comments, there were many people like, oh shit, you guys might need to get your pitch, pitchforks started, because this guy, you're gonna hate, trust me. So obviously that's some people who read the novels and the manga and stuff like that. Um, I did also hear that the ending, the like the final volume of this novel or manga, I don't know what it's adapting from a light novel or a manga, um, but I did hear that the final vo issued volume is gonna be coming out this summer. So I wonder if this anime is gonna get like more seasons to the end or if this anime is gonna get like just the one season thing and if you want to find out the rest of the story go read the uh manga or the um light novels i don't again i don't know what this is adapted from if you know what this is adapted from please put that in the comment section um i hope this show gets more seasons because it seems like a lot of people actually like this um series from what i'm getting from it keeps people interested and stuff like that. Um, so hopefully it gets more than just one season, but I don't mind if I have to watch or if I have to read the book version or the manga or the light novel version to find out the stories, what's going on after that. But um, definitely interesting to see where this is gonna be going. But other than that, I'm gonna get out of here. So if you guys liked the video, leave a like. Put in the comment section your thoughts on this week's episode of Higi Hero, as well as hit that subscribe button. If you want to get more Higi Hero content, as well as any other anime content I upload to the channel. Um, and do again, I'm not trying to say I'm begging for subscribers, but look, we're only three subscribers away from getting 100. So if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm even doing a Resident Evil 8 playthrough for you guys starting um, on the 7th, which I believe is a there's no a, a, a Sunday. Uh, no, not Sunday. A Friday. I'm doing a Resident Evil 8 playthrough for you guys. If you want to see me get scared of playing Resident Evil 8, hit that subscribe button. Um, so yeah, um, but other than that, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Hopefully, you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Until then, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.